Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, my brand new channel that I just launched, The Bird's Eye Report. So as you all know, yesterday, well for you guys, yesterday, for me it's uh, a few days from now, it still hasn't actually launched, but for you it has launched, uh, basically a rebranding of the Red Hawk Voss channel into The Bird's Eye Report channel where, uh, like I said, you know, briefly in some of the videos that I've already published on this channel and the little promos I did, it's going to be a channel focusing on uh, history, geography, geopolitics and stuff like that basically topics of that realm that uh sort of interest me and uh like i just said it did officially launch yesterday with the first video the unification of italy i hope it went well like i said for me it's in the future but uh now that you're watching this video it's in the past hopefully it went well hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh yeah hopefully there was some positive reception but i did want to talk a bit about that channel on this channel over here sort of as a, a promotion and uh you know to answer some uh, recurring questions that i've seen over here pop up in some of the videos and the discord on twitter blah 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 uh, that you guys have uh, about the channel and stuff like that so uh, I've chosen uh, about 10 or so questions here that I have seen repeated a couple of times so uh, and they do seem pretty broad that uh, I can include them in a video like this and uh, you know discuss the topics so yeah before we even get to that uh, let me know in the comments below on this video what you thought of the video on that channel if you've already checked it out and if you haven't of course the link to the channel is in the description you can go ahead and check it out but uh here we have sort of the first question uh i saw a lot why did i choose to start the channel so basically pretty much ever since i started this channel the red hawk which was in uh february uh or no january 26th 2021 so uh almost three years now since i've started the red hawk even when i started on u4 channel i've uh you know i thought about doing maybe something like this right of course i don't know uh that much about these topics compared to what i know about u4 and of course uh, even though i did sort of consider doing something like that back in the day when i launched the red hawk i just um the reality is it's so much harder harder to break through in that sort of a realm or that sort of space over on youtube right whereas uh, obviously there were less u4 channels and stuff like that so no matter even you know how good of a videos you make right even if the videos are straight up bangers the best production highest quality ever which of course mine are not but even if they were there's still an element of luck over on youtube and um you know you do need quite a bit of time before uh let's say the algorithm which is basically the audience right everyone says oh the algorithm the algorithm is the audience guys before uh, people you know get to see your content and before it gets recommended so yeah i chose to start it um right now pretty much because like i said i've uh, wanted to do it for such a long time and i've been thinking about it for a, a lot of time it's just i haven't really had the time to do it so um uh, yeah it's always been something that's interested me i do you know sort of want to express myself creatively a little more you know in u4 videos there's you know you can be creative in the game with your goals and stuff like that or in other games they play but really after that once recording is done there's not a lot of stuff to be creative about sure you can do like cool editing and stuff like that of course my videos aren't like that because i do so many of them i do one every other day if i did one video a week about u4 you know it could have like bang or editing and stuff like that and i'm sure some of you guys are thinking well why don't you just hire an editor and the thing is my videos don't make enough money to hire an editor uh, the editor would cost more than the video would make so you know after all this is my job content creation is my job so there does have to be an element of uh, profit here uh, then the next question right here is, uh, why now? Well, now seemed a good as time as any. Like I said, I've been thinking about it for such a long time and, uh, you know, thinking about it is not going to get you anywhere, right? It's not, you know, some people, um, I, I've seen this a lot with, with friends and people I know and even people I don't know. They're like, okay, so I'm going to do this. Let's say, okay, I'm going to, you know, learn how to play guitar and then they sit down. And then they make a list. Okay, so the first thing is buy a guitar. Next is research what types of guitars there are. Next, it's, I don't know, I'm going to play classical or, you know, with a pick or whatever. Then I'm going to do this type of music. Then I'm going to research where to take classes. Then I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do that. Making a list about doing it and thinking about doing it. It's not the same as doing it, guys. If you want to play guitar, literally go and buy a guitar and sit down in front of your computer and put on a video on YouTube and learn how to play it. Thinking about doing it or writing down what you're going to do to do it is not doing it. So that's pretty much what I was doing. I, I was making a list about what I'm going to do and thinking about how I'm going to do it. And uh, I was like, but that's not doing it. So I just sat down, decided to actually do it, wrote a script, blah, blah, blah. 
you know the rest uh here the next question is how long have i wanted to do it which i think i pretty much answered uh pretty much since the start of uh you know my youtube career so to call it even when we launched the red hawk but uh i've been actively thinking about it for uh the better part of a year now almost two years like thinking about it constantly by the way which again brings me back to the fact that thinking about doing something is not actually doing something sit down and do it uh next is how long have i been working on it so working on it i guess actively you know once again let's remove the whole thinking part uh right now it's november i think since may or june man i think since may or june i started you know uh conceptualizing it like okay we're gonna have videos like this i started doing like the first video immediately right without even thinking about it so the video about italy you guys watched has been months in the making of course you know until i nailed down everything how to do it and whatnot but uh yeah i can say i've been working about it since uh, may or june of course not alone i really don't have the time to do something like this alone and going back to the previous editing stuff i uh, the channel of course doesn't make money and i'll uh, and i'll get to how much this whole thing has cost uh later a bit but uh you know i i, I sort of gotta do it alone i'm not doing it alone i'm doing it with the help of my girlfriend of course but you know we both have other things to do right it's not just that if that was my main job sure i can make a video like that once a week for now it's just uh once every two weeks which i'll get to later but uh yeah working since may uh sort of writing uh, various scripts i've scrapped many many scripts already uh you know working with uh designers to make the logo and stuff like that uh working on concepts for thumbnails like uh, okay i'm gonna do thumbnails like this you know i sort of I'm sort of still thinking about that. I actually still don't know as of now what thumbnail the video is going to have on Sunday. I have more than 30 choices uh, of, of different thumbnails that I've made. But uh, yeah, just working on it in various capacity, you know, acquiring uh, video licenses and stuff like that for stock footage, getting other programs, um, you know. Yeah, I've been working on it in various ways since uh, May or uh, June or something like that. And then the next question has brings me to uh, is, uh, do these videos cost money to make? And the answer is yes, they actually cost a lot more money to make than you would think. So, you know, think of it like this. How much money did I need to start the Red Hawk YouTube channel? Zero. I started it with zero money, all right? The only thing I had back when I first started making videos on the Red Hawk was my shitty a uh, $500 laptop that could barely run EU4. Of course, you guys know that my first videos that didn't have me talking, they had a uh, uh, text to speech or whatever, because I literally did not have a microphone, nor could I get one. And then uh, one of my boys, one of my original viewers, uh, who's uh, still a mod in my Discord, I think we still talk sometimes, he decided to narrate some of my videos. So after I did, I think about 15 or 20 videos, and this was like, I'm talking January or, or March uh, 2021, he offered to narrate them so instead of doing the you know the script for the video i in a text-to-speech thingy i sent it to my boy who recorded it back on his phone sent it to me i put them in a video and stuff like that so uh <clears throat> really if you don't consider me buying the pc which i don't i'd have the pc either way and if you don't consider me buying u4 which i didn't do it for this i had it either way then it really did cost zero dollars to launch the red hawk all I did was sit down and start making videos and, uh, you know, watching videos on how to make thumbnails, watching videos on how to edit and stuff like that. And uh, it really did cost me zero money. Of course, after that, uh, after I got monetized after a few months, you know, I'll tell you guys straight up right now. The first day I made money on YouTube, I made uh, $10.21. And before that, I had made videos for free. Uh, and that was in April, by the way, for the entirety of uh, January or not entirety, but February and March. So I had already like, uh, I don't know, like 40 videos that I've basically done for free. You know, uh, I hadn't made a single cent off of them. And my first month that I was monetized on YouTube, which was like um, March or April or something like that, it was not even a full month. It was like half of the month. I made like $80. And you know what I spent those $80 on? Well, after YouTube took their cut and after I paid taxes, I was left with about uh, 50 or something like that. But I spent $50 to buy a microphone. I bought this uh, Razer siren mini i think it was called or something like that it was not very good but it's a pretty good mic for 50 bucks actually if any of you are thinking of launching a channel or something like that and you want to get a like a 50 dollar mic i definitely recommend that but that's the first thing i spent the money i made on youtube from the the microphone right 
and after that i started upgrading you know okay so now that we got a mic the videos are a little bit better quality right i can actually talk to you guys for the first time even though it didn't sound that good next you know we want to get some professional editing software so you know money on premiere on photoshop then of course saving up money for a lot of time buying a better pc so upgrading and stuff like that which of course still doesn't really cost you know so i started the red hawk with uh, zero dollars but uh let me tell you man a stock video footage uh, going over to the bird's eye report now stock video footage i had no idea it was that expensive guys like a five or six second clip of let's say i don't know some guy filming the Colosseum in Rome, they cost like two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Stock video, stock music, uh, sound effects, uh, stock photos. It's literally the most expensive thing on earth, man. Like, luckily, there are some, you know, stock footage websites where you pay a certain amount and then you get access to all of their, um, you know, library or stuff like that, which is, is still not cheap, don't get me wrong, but. If you were to make a video like I, I'm i doing right now on the Bird's Eye Report and you pay separately for each little piece of footage that you use, a video is going to cost you like $10,000 to make. Now, don't get me wrong. My videos haven't cost $10,000 to make, but uh, I have uh, spent more than a, a $1,000, uh, let's say. Or actually, no, way more. I bought another computer for editing uh, because, like I said, I'm working on this with my girl and she, she's using that one. So if you put that into account as well, I spent like more than probably three thousand dollars to launch this channel right so with all the stock video footage subscriptions to various stock websites uh, programs and stuff like that you know uh the logo design or whatnot so the initial investment on this was uh, already pretty pretty large the birds eye report it isn't gonna make money for months for months before i even break even but uh i guess that's it when you you know you put a little bit of passion into it i am prepared to lose money on the channel even if it does flop but uh, of course it's uh, worth a shot to try right do or do not there is no try shout out mr yoda so uh yeah there's the little rant on how expensive actually good videos are to make on youtube so if you're thinking of starting something like that don't do it i don't recommend it start something that's not going to cost you money like um e4 didn't cost me money uh, the next question is, am I doing it alone? And uh, no, I'm not doing it alone. Like I said, I'm doing it with the help of my girlfriend. Um, some of you may be thinking, of course, okay, why not hire someone to, I don't know, write the script, hire someone to, I don't know, find the footage, to edit the videos, to do a voiceover and stuff like that. And once again, we're going back to cost here, guys, that, that stuff costs money, right? And the thing is, I'm really not launching this in a sort of a business fashion right you see those uh things pop up on like instagram and on youtube all the time this is how to make passive income with auto generated content no i don't want to make passive income with auto generated content i i want to do the videos myself that's where the passion element comes from so you know no disrespect to anyone who does youtube like that right that is totally valid business strategy you know it's like you're a businessman you hire someone to write the script hire someone to edit the video hire someone to do the voiceover hire someone for thumbnails hire someone to run the channel and that's it you're pretty much just the boss running a business very little you know you're very not really involved in the work at all but that's not what i wanted to do i actually wanted to be involved so maybe if if i could pay someone to do those things maybe in the future i would but i i think that defeats the whole purpose of why i'm doing it basically i want to do it uh you know uh i'll get to how i make the videos just in us in, in just a second but um no i'm not doing this alone uh i have other things to do the red hawk is still you know my main job i also have all the speed five commitments that i'm doing over on the that channel as well where me and Lath are hosting and stuff like that so you know i i do wish i had more time to make those videos man i wish i uh, right now we could make one video per week it's just that these videos on the birds eye report take quite a long uh, time to make that um we simply can't do it in a week we have too much other things to do as well if we didn't have other things to do we could probably make a video a week and that's what i uh, aim to uh get to eventually but for now two videos a week so uh next is how i make the videos uh that's what we're gonna touch on uh, i think i think we do have a little bit of time left here yeah so how do i make the videos okay so the first thing i um i come up here uh with is uh, a couple of concepts right let's say for the first video 
I had bro, more than 15 ideas, right? But I decided to settle on something historical, something that you guys could relate to, something that I'm sure a lot of you guys over here on this channel are fans of, uh, something history related, which is the formation of Italy. This is our first video. Like I said, it may be good, maybe it's not, but the, the other videos are way better. Trust me, stick through it. But uh, I'm pretty proud of this one too, even though the other ones are so much better. But um, yeah, you know, I first think of a couple of... Um, cool topics or ideas that I personally would be interested in seeing, right? If it's not something I'm interested in, I probably won't do it. Like, I don't know, I wouldn't make a video on how manhole covers are made. I'm I'm really not interested in that. They're just pouring iron in a mold, bro. That's it, right? And this is not how, how it's made. So yeah, I come up with a couple of topics that I think are cool. And then I pick the best one out of those topics, right? Let's just say I don't know, these weren't it, but I'm just giving an example, like, how was Italy formed, how was Germany formed, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, who invented the wheel, I don't know, I'm just giving you stupid examples here, but, and then I think, okay, so these are the concepts, hmm, how was Italy formed was the most interesting to me, so that's how I chose the topic, then boom, you know, I, and all of these topics are something I know a little bit about, but of course, you know, you research them later on, so, you know, you get the you get the topic, the formation of Italy, and okay. So, uh, what I want to mention here, and you do an, a little outline. So, uh, how was it before Italy was unified? Who are the most important people that played a factor into this? Uh, how was you know the timeline? What happened? Okay, this happened, that this happened, that this happened. What happened after it? So you, you know, you think of uh, I think of a couple of you know important points, let's say, and stuff like that, and then you know you expand upon them. Uh, you write the script, that's pretty much it. You know, you get some help, blah, 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 do some research, put in all the all the facts and stuff like that, uh, the most important guys. And sure, the videos are somewhat broad, I would say, but I'll, I'll touch on that in a second as well. And then after that, you know, you write the script, you go over it, let's see. Okay, so the script is this long. That will make a video that's this long. Okay, this I have too much of. Let's get rid of that. You know, you just edit the script. This I want to know a little bit more about, but I'm having a little trouble finding stuff about it. So let's go into some obscure documents, historical documents to find a little bit more about it. And then, you know, you expand, you shrink it, blah, blah, blah. After that, I uh, look at the camera like this and record the, <laughs> the the script or whatever you want to call it. I record the voiceover. And then uh, then the video is off to editing. You know, you find various uh, stock footage, uh, uh, images, uh, old timey paintings, maps or whatever. You know, the video wants to feature st statistics. I don't know, charts and stuff like that. You insert it all. Uh, you add, uh, you know, special effects, of course, you know, removing the green screen behind me is sort of special effects, right? If I, uh, if I remove that effect, this is what it looks like, right? <laughs> it's, it's just a green screen, but, uh, boom, just like that. And, uh, you have footage once again. So that's sort of special effects, I guess. And then you add all those stuff, the music and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. Then you export the video, make a thumbnail, think of the title. And, uh, yeah, pretty much the normal video creation, um, Video creation process is what I have to say about that. Uh, yeah. So next question is what kind of videos will we see? I already touched on this a little bit, but uh, you know, there, there are various channels over on YouTube, guys, that uh, make sort of the content that I want to make over here. I don't know. Let's say like, um, I don't know who makes history videos. I'm, I'm completely blanking right now, but uh, you know that, that three minute history thingy, right? The three minute history little animation thingies, uh, oversimplified, I guess. I don't know, real life lore, Wendover Productions, um, uh, Caspian Report, you know, videos similar to those channels, right? Those would be the topic, you know, history videos. The first one is a history video right here, the unification of Italy. Then the one after that we have coming in two weeks from now, from the time you're watching this video is called the geopolitics of water. And it's basically how, you know, rivers, lakes, seas, shared water resources between countries, how they affect the relations between those countries how, you know, throughout history it has played a role, shaping various empires and stuff like that. So that's sort of geography and history in the past related, but relating to the present day, it's more geopolitics based. Then after that, we have a video about, uh, you know, uh, how which countries could potentially unite in the future or stuff like that, which is more geography and uh, geopolitics related. Like, I don't know, could the two Koreas reunite and be one again? You know, the East African Federation, um, you know, topics like that. So that's the third video. After that, I have a video coming about Count Dracula, not the fiction guy, the real guy, Vlad Dracula, the third, Vlad the Impaler. So 
you know, th those are pretty much the topics I have on lock right about now. These are the videos that you'll see by the end of the year. I think Count Dracula one is supposed to come out on December 31st, so a month and a half from now. But those are just some of the initial videos that we've worked on, and uh, that's the type of videos you can expect to see in the future. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. The next question is, what are the videos like too specific versus too broad? So... I tried to find sort of a middle ground right here, but I feel like with the channel name as well, uh, it's the bird's eye report, right? What's a bird's eye view, uh, you know, high up, a broad view of everything around you, right? So if it was very specific, focused on one very singular specific problem or a singular specific topic, a niche within a niche within a niche, then it would probably be called like the bird's eye microscope or something like that, you know? But uh, the videos, uh, the way I've wanted to make him was... Um, uh, general enough so that people uh, who don't have any idea about what we're talking about understand them and find them entertaining and uh, specific enough to where people who already know about the subject would still watch it and be entertained right and if you think about it like this uh, these are the types of videos that I would have wanted in high school or in college right let's say you're doing a, a, a history test and uh, the, the topic of the test or a history essay or something is uh, the unification of Italy, right? And then I want, you know, you to be able to see the video, the unification of Italy, and uh, know 90% of the most important things that you need to know. And that's it. You watch it, you know most of the stuff, you don't know like, specific uh, dates or whatever, like on this date, blah, 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 this happened and that happened, and then those guys went there and did that. No, it's, it's, it's the main stuff, right? It's the bird's eye view of the whole situation which is how I'm pretty much approaching uh, every video. The bird's eye view, the broad view, not going too much into specifics, entertaining enough for people that know stuff about it, and uh, accessible enough for people that uh, don't know stuff about it. So uh, I hope uh, that clears up my thought process a little bit. Our next question right here is how often will we see videos? And I already touched on this topic a little bit. I think I've already mentioned it, but, for, but uh, you know, initially we wanted to have a video every... Um, what you call it every single week every video will release on a sunday by the way so i wanted to have a video every week but um a video takes longer than a week to make so you know just the two of us like i said without help from any like script writers or editors or thumbnail makers and stuff like that i we really can't get a video out every week so i decided you know i really don't like the whole unscheduled thing by the way right i don't want to make a video and then when it's done put it out i i always like to stick to a schedule i've been doing you know the red hawk for almost three years now and i've done a video every other day except for you know when i switch up the uh schedule i think last year when we did uh wednesdays fridays and uh sundays but i, I still want to have a schedule i want people to know when they can expect something so for now starting you know the 19th i think yesterday for you guys there'll be a video every two weeks so after the 19th there's going to be a video on the third after that it's going to be on the 17th after that the 31st after that january 14th after that january 28th you get the point so that's how often you'll see videos hopefully in the future i can get it to one video a week but no promises on that that is a goal of mine though but for now videos every two weeks and uh, next is how I make the videos. Once again, I guess I, uh, you know, I guess I put that question down twice because we already talked about this, you know, the whole editing and uh, the whole process and uh, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I think that's about all, you know, I sort of wanted to explain or sort of clear up for you guys regarding the Bird's Eye View channel. Like I said at the start of the video, for me, it still hasn't launched. I'm recording this video on November 17th. You guys are going to be watching it on the 20th. And um, the first video will have dropped yesterday. I hope the reception was good. Uh, like I said, uh, I, I do think this is our worst video. The first video is always the worst video. But uh, stick around because the next videos are going to be so, so good. They already are. Some of them are finished. I've seen them and uh, they're absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah, if you did check it out over on the Bird's Eye Report channel... Uh, and even if you left a comment over there, maybe I haven't seen it yet. So make sure to leave a comment on this video as well. You know, tell me tell me what you thought about the video. Uh, how can we possibly improve? What's good? What's bad about the video? Do you want to see more videos like it? Or uh, s uh, different topics or whatever. And uh, let me know your entire thoughts. And uh, yeah, like I said, a couple of promos that I did last week on the videos that launched uh, about Norway, Parma, Byzantium, whatever. I did a little bit of promoing on that. But um. Uh, like I said, this is uh, this does come from a place of passion. I already said, you know, that's why I'm not getting. Aside from the fact that I don't, I can't afford it, that's also one of the reasons why I'm not getting any other help for this. 
uh but uh yeah a lot of passion put into this man i i hope it works but you know even if it doesn't uh oh well you know we'll still be here with the red hawk so uh yeah i'm gonna give this a little experiment a shot for about a year right here upload a couple of videos see if you guys like it see if the channel is successful like i said this channel does cost a lot of money the videos cost a lot of money so uh i can't be uh, losing too much over here i gave myself about a year uh, I'm prepared to lose money on it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does, hey, it'll be great. Two Red Hawk channels for you guys, two, uh, two places to enjoy my content from, uh, if you do enjoy it at all. If not, if it's not for you, no big deal, right? Stick around to the Red Hawk. There'll still be EU4 videos and uh, other videos like this or other games and stuff like that uh, as well. But yeah, with all that said, uh, I hope it went well. I guess for me, I'll see you on Monday. I guess for you guys already know. And uh, that's all I have to say about the Birds Eye Report. If you haven't subscribed already or if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out for sure. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment. And uh, yeah, go ahead and watch that first video. If you like it, stick around for more because there will be more. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Bye-bye.